Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. So it is a very bittersweet day. Today is the last day of celebration. It's so sad because last year they did two rounds of celebration. They did the one right in January and February, and then they did one again in July and August, and they're only doing the one this year. So it is definitely super bittersweet because we won't have another one until next January. So if there's anything that is on your wish list, I would definitely start looking at it. You have a few hours left before it is over. And after that, we're going to have to wait until next January. So if there's anything on your list, I would get it while you can. Um, but good evening, everybody. Good evening, Valerie. Thanks for joining. If you're just logging on, say hi so I know you're here. So I pretty much have experienced all four seasons in a matter of two hours here in Arizona. So I was kind of cold in the craft room where I was working. So I decided to take my woodworking outside. So I pushed my husband's bench out into the driveway and I was sitting there and I was like, oh, I'm a little warm. I should probably go put a hat on so I don't fry my face. So then I put a hat on, continue working. And then I was like, oh, I should probably put my bathing suit on because it is really nice. Maybe I could get some color all over my pasty white body. But I didn't do that. I spared all of my neighbors. Um, and then it literally like five seconds later, I was like, oh my gosh, I need my bathrobe. It is freezing. So then I had to push everything back into the garage and finish my woodworking project in my bathrobe slippers because it was so cold. Crazy weather today, but it was for the most part absolutely gorgeous. Um, so hopefully you guys had a good day. I was able to be out here all day long and then my daughter showed up at about 3.34 and we did her save the date invitation. So she'll be getting those in the mail tomorrow. So things are working out and going like, I like it smooth sailing. I should knock on something just in case something else happens. Um, but today's project is using up some Celebration Designer Series paper. I didn't know which ones to pick because they're all so gorgeous. I have been using a lot of the flavored um, flower set. I think that's the name of it. But today I did on the farm. So it is so stinking cute. I don't know who I'm going to send it to. I actually could, probably could send it to anybody and they probably would get a kick out of it. But let's quit chit chatting and let's do some crafting. So let's point you over, make sure we are live on Facebook and we should be. It did take a little bit to get going, but I am, everything looks good, perfect. So this is the mini catalog. Um, it goes January through April, so we still have some time to um, play an order out of this. But this is the celebration that ends today, is the very last day. Um, so lots of amazingness in this little catalog. Super duper fun. This is what we're going to be playing with tonight. Is free with a $50 order and it's a day at the farm. It does coordinate with, I probably should have had the page um, marked or something before I went live, but I wasn't prepared apparently. Um, on page 34 of the mini catalog, it does coordinate with the stamp set and the matching dies. What's really nice is the dies cut out the designer series paper. And that's what I did for today's card. I don't have many or much of the cows and the pigs and the flowers because I have used a lot of it. Oh, there's a cow. I actually think this is from um, a last class that I did. I had one extra cow. But the dies do cut out, and these are my extra little pieces that I didn't use in card class that I put in this little Ziploc just for future reference in case I needed them. And I'm so glad I kept them because we are going to be playing with these amazing cute little piggies today. So our card is all about pigs, so hopefully you love pigs. If you don't, you totally will as soon as you see our card. Let me put these back in there so I don't lose them. I think I have enough pigs out, but I will keep those just in case. Okay, are you guys ready to see tonight's card? It says hogs and, I know they're little piggies, they're not quite hogs, but I still kind of played with them as hogs. So it's hogs and kisses, and then I had some extra little pigs, so I put one on the side. 
So I thought he was super cute and totally fitting. I really could give this to anybody, but I think I might give this to my husband. He's actually been doing a lot of the woodworking for me for the retreat pillow gifts. Um, and I think I want to give him some hogs and kisses. So that's what I'm going to teach you guys how to make. So I did pull in the Alphabet Alamode dies. These are in the mini catalog, the one that I just showed you that's good till April. You get all of the letters and you get all of the numbers as well. So it's super versatile. Um, and I like how they give you double of a lot of the letters that you use, the R's, the S's, the T's, the A's, the E's. So I really liked how we have multiple letters. So let's slide that back in. Good evening, Carol, welcome. And then I didn't want to die cut um, the kisses on the inside because I kind of thought I was gonna take up too much of my writing space. So I brought in the Alphabest dies or the Alphabest stamp set, and that's how I spelled the kisses on the inside of the card. So those are the two stamp sets we're using. Even though it does have a matching um, set, I didn't do it on this one. So I'm starting out with a piece of Daffodil Delight. Um, this is cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it in two spots. I scored it at two and a quarter and four and a half. So if you're like me and you do not like the 3 8 the 5 16 the 13 16 I hate those numbers, but I love my little handy dandy ruler. So this ruler has all of the 8ths and the 16ths on it. So 2 and an eighth is two little lines over the 2 inch mark. So I, if I am questioning it, I literally grab my ruler and know, oh, my designer series paper needs to be two little lines under two instead of the whole figuring out the math. Well, speaking of the two little lines under two, you do need two pieces of designer series paper. And yes, it is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. So the five and a quarter is super easy, um, but the one and seven eighths is a little bit tricky. So it is just two little lines under the two inch mark. I know everybody probably laughs at me when I say that, but it's the only way I can keep my brain functioning. So these two smidgens of designer series paper are gonna go on the edge. And then I did put all of these uh, measurements in before I went live, so you don't have to worry about writing them down. And then I have another piece of designer series paper. This is four by five and a quarter. So I'm actually just gonna lay these on here. You could use both sides if you wanted to. I just kind of flipped them over just to be a little fun. And then I have two pieces, and this is our basic gray. So I have two pieces of basic gray, and they are cut at three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then another piece of designer series paper and basic white, these two are the same size. They are three inches by four inches. So they're pretty straightforward measurements, except these two little pieces. Um, but this is how we're going to get our fun little Z fold card. So first I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fold right in the center. So I'm gonna crease that over. Just make sure your edges are lined up. Oh, let me do it this way. I don't know, I work better if my crease is on my left, even though, or on my right, even though I have to flip it around. And then this piece, I am just gonna fold backwards. And then I'm gonna flip my card around so it is going the right direction. So that is your fun little Z fold card. I know I've made these before, but it's always fun to go back and make something new again. So I think Miss Little Natalie, when she was over, took my glue that was for my Facebook Live table. So I'm gonna open up a new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue down this piece of designer series paper. I'm gonna glue it right to the right hand side. And then these pieces I'm going to glue down. I'm gonna glue one to the inside flap. And then I'm gonna glue the other piece to the outside flap. 
And you can use any designer series paper you want, but I just kind of wanted it to say hogs and kisses, so that's why I chose to do the on the farm. So just make sure all of those pieces are good. That looks perfect. So I am going to start with a piece of our the basic gray. So I'm going to go ahead and put adhesive on, and I'm going to line this up and just glue it to the inside of my card. My original card, I did this part last, and nobody will ever know besides me pointing it out. When I close it, it's a smidgen off, which honestly in the big scheme of things is not tragic. Um, but I figured gluing this down first would kind of try to make it a little bit more even. <laughs> so there's that. And then I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on our basic white piece before I glue that in. So I'm going to bring in my letters. I did go ahead and pull all my letters off that I needed. I'm going to bring in the basic gray. And I'm going to ink up the K. And we're just going to write kisses on the bottom. So there's K, I, S. Now this S, I never know which way the S goes. So we are going to just hope for the best. We do another S. Take this off, do the E. And I am just eyeballing this. I am not doing anything special to make sure this is lined up or anything. I think sometimes less is more. Hopefully it's this way. And if it's a little wonky, it's a little wonky. I think people are gonna get the gist of how fun this card is. So now I'm gonna go ahead and glue this in. Hopefully I don't have ink all over my fingers. So there's that. Good evening, Kel or Kelly. Good evening, Kathy. Welcome. So there is our fun card. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take our other piece of basic gray and I'm gonna lay this over the top. And I just am going to make sure it is going to cover everything. Now, I didn't put the designer series paper on first because I am going to come in and I should have grabbed my tear tape. Let me run in the craft room. It should be sitting right on my table and it is perfect. I'm going to use some tear tape just to make this a little bit easier. So I'm going to flip it over so I have a little bit more control. I'm going to line this up. And I want to put a piece of tear tape along this edge. Good evening, Stephanie. Welcome. And I'm going to come over here and put one not quite in the middle because I don't want my tear tape to go over this little line, this little imaginary line right there. So now I can peel this off. And I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to hold this side with my left hand and I'm going to line this up again. And then when I let go, it is going to attach to the edge. And you don't have to worry about um, adhesive being off to the edge where it's going to glue your card shut. So that's, that's why I did that. So now we can go ahead and I think I might decorate this before I glue it on. So I've already die cut all of our letters out. And this time I went ahead and put the adhesive sheets on the back. So you can see it's the basic gray, but on the back side it's white because I used our adhesive sheets. So all I have to do is peel this off and they will be sticky. Try not to drop it. And now I can just come up here and I just kind of tack down the top portion of it just to make sure I get it lined up. And again, just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. So I'm just gonna come over here. 
just tack down the top, do the G, and if you need to move it a little bit, it's a little bit easier to pull apart if you don't push the whole thing down. And I think I might, I think I might scoot it over a little bit. So there's the G, or there's the S. Scoot the G over just a smidgen. And scoot the O over. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now I'm just gonna come in and push them all down. So there's your hogs. And then let's do the and. Gonna come and put this right in the center. And these little piggies, they the dies do cut them out all in one, but I went in and I wanted them separated, so I just went in and fussy cutted them, even though fussy cut it is not proper English, but that's what we're going to use. I used my paper snips and I cut around them so they were separated. <laughs> that's a little bit better but everybody knew what I was talking about. So I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back. And I want to splatter these guys all over the front of my card. I know, aren't the little piggies cute? Um, but back in the day when the girls were younger, we raised a pig and named him Breakfast Burrito. <laughs> It's a terrible name for a pig, but well, that's kind of what you do sometimes. So I went two little piggies and then two bigger piggies. And I did go over a little bit, but he is going to be attached to the card. So you're not gonna have to worry about, even though he's hanging off, he'll still be on your card. There we go. Hogs and kisses. And I do have a couple extra pigs that I left together and you could really put this wherever you wanted. I just had some extra so I thought I would throw them in here. If you want it here, if you want it here, uh, let's just put them in the center. That just means a little bit less writing that I have to do when I send this card out. So there you go, hogs and kisses. I don't know why I literally think that is the cutest thing. Okay, we're gonna put one more together. I won't go through all the measurements because I'm sure everybody has places to go, people to see. I just actually got off the phone with Kathy. Um, she drove up from Tucson, so I'm sure she's exhausted. I'm sure all of us are exhausted. It's been a crazy long day. But a good, good crazy long day. So there's the last. Let's glue these down. I know Christina has chickens, so if you scrapbook, this paper would be phenomenal to do chickens on because it's kind of like the chicken wire. I don't know if pigs use chicken wire, but they are in my card. That's what we're doing today. And depending on how you cut the designer series paper on this one, your um, stripes could be going uh, vertical or horizontal. I wanted my um, vegetables to be going the right direction, so that's why I cut it for this going the opposite direction. So there we go. I know she just got, Christina just got five new little chickens. I was over there when they were just a couple days old. They are so tiny but messy already. Okay, there's that. Let's go ahead and glue this down first. We're gonna glue this to the inside. And you can use kind of the chicken wire to line it up a little bit as well. Perfect. Let's do a little bit of stamping. And I would try to go backwards, but I think I'll make a bigger mess. So we are not going to go backwards on spelling kisses. 
No, I might look. I'd spell it wrong. <laughs> Hey, I, I think my grandson would like this. Maybe I'll send one to him. I think that's a great idea. K-I-S, S, E, and one more S. I'm gonna have ink all over my fingers. Hopefully I don't get it on my paper. There we go. So there's not much stamping to this card. It's pretty much all designer series paper and die cutting your designer series paper. It goes super quick. This would be a fun happy birthday card too. Hogs and kisses, happy birthday. So cute. There we go. Let's close that. And let's bring in our second piece of um, basic gray. I'm going to line this up just so I have a good um, placing for my tear tape. I'm going to put a piece right on the edge. And I want to come over here and put a piece close to the other edge, but not to where it's going to hang over. Press those down. Peel this up. And I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to hold it in my left hand so my finger is stuck to the glue. So I'm going to keep this side up a hair. I'm going to line this up. And then I'm going to remove my finger and let it fall and press it down. So now it is straight on there. Let's do our, let's start with the S, we can spell hogs backwards. That's only four letters. I'm pretty sure I can handle that. So I'm gonna put the S down, and then I'm gonna do the H, and then I'll fill in the other spots. I probably should have did that in the beginning, and then I wouldn't have had to have moved them. Let's put that right there and hopefully this one works if not I just tucked it down on the very tip so it's easy to move there we go that looks pretty good so now I'm just going to press them all down there we go oh thank you Kathy one of my friends was doing a New Year's Eve photo shoot and I saw it was all pink and silver and I was like, oh my gosh, that is right up my alley. But I didn't want New Year's Eve pictures. I kind of just wanted to like update my Facebook stuff. So that's why I did it. But thank you for that. So put some dimensionals on these little piggies. I always play with my grandson and do these little piggies went to the market. He laughs. He thinks it's the funniest thing. What we do for these little kids, right? So I'm going to put these ones a little wonky so they're not super straight. Just to kind of give it a little bit of character. That's what we're going to call it, character. Glue this down. And look, our card is done. We just have to add the little piggies to the inside, and we are done. And I think I like it in the center, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one in the center as well. And with all of your extra designer series paper, you can even decorate your envelopes. I didn't on these ones, but I probably will when I before I go to send them out. So there you go. Here are your hogs and kisses. I hope you guys liked today's live. I thought they were super cute and super fitting with today being the last day of celebration. But if you haven't gotten the um, On the Farm Designer Series paper, today is the last day to get it. And I can be honest, I wasn't super excited about it when I first saw it. But once you start playing with it, you see the oohs and the ahs and what everybody else has done with it. And you're like, oh yeah. 
I totally have to have that. That is definitely some paper that needs to be in here. Be super cute. It would be super cute kid cards as well. So anyway, I will be back on Thursday for another Facebook Live, Thursday at 7. So if you guys need anything, I will be up for a few more hours. Um, hopefully, I know 11 o'clock Arizona time is the cutoff. So if you need anything before 11, I can't guarantee I'll be awake, but I will do my best. Um, I can totally take care of you, or you can click the little link and you can shop online for 24-7. Okay, if you need anything, feel free to let me know. If not, I will see everybody on Thursday for another fun live. Chat with you soon. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.